When I was 20 years old, I went to Berkeley College of Music and uh, I studied jazz composition and arranging and basically the, I studied about the instruments that I don't play because I always had this um, interest uh, for writing for a big band and orchestra. So that's why I went there and studied the other instruments and and also I met a lot of amazingly talented musicians in school and it was just wonderful experience to just be playing with them every night and and feel the different culture and you know playing with the people from all over the world. After I went to the States, I started to, you know, I started to try to make an album. And I came up with this, uh, my debut album, Another Mind, idea. And I was just writing more and more music. Then one of my arranging teachers really loved what I did for midterm or final exam, you know, for arranging. And um, that time for that project, I was um, arranging the standard. So he said, I would love to listen to your originals and let's work more, you know, arranging for your originals. So I brought my CD and he listened to the song called The Tom and Jerry Show. <laughs> and he asked me, can I ask who is playing the piano? Because he was only, you know, he only knew me as an arranger because he was the arranging teacher. And he said, and so I said, uh, it's me playing the piano. And he said, I really want one of my good friends to listen to this. Can I borrow this disc? So I said, yes, of course. And his friend happened to be Ahmad Jamal. And um, Ahmad really loved what I played and wrote. And he called me and then my career started kind of from there, you know, he introduced me to record company and just suddenly everything happened at once. So it was, wow. <laughs> well, funny, funny thing is I've never really listened to cl even classical music as genre. I was just listening to the work of Johann Sebastian Bach, Mozart, and Beethoven. And just like that, I listened to the work of Oscar Peterson, Deborah mm -hmm. Ganner, Frank Zappa. And I think I became like that because my first piano teacher loved all kinds of music. And she owned a lot of LPs of jazz music as well. And she was the one who introduced me to jazz music. And when I was eight, I listened to the album of Errol Garner uh, called Concert by the Sea and Oscar Peterson's We Get Requests. And I was just stunned by how, how free it was. And she told me it's all improvised. And, and I was just, I couldn't stop moving my, you know, body to the music was, so much swing there and I just enjoyed it so much and then I started to improvise just like learning new language you know trying to um, copy what they were doing and try to play it on the piano and it was a whole new experience because it was a completely different idiom to what I was studying in classical music and I still do love and respect so much the classical music and I think classical composers are great source of inspiration you know to me especially in the composition you know view and um, it's they know how to use the instrument fully they can really make it sound full and they use from you know, all 88 keys. I feel all 88 keys are alive. So I still study and try to practice a lot of classical pieces to learn, you know. And um, 
but jazz music, I think what I love most about it is the improvising part. Because you never, like even, you know, the people who, who are on the stage and actually playing the music, we don't even know what's going to happen tonight. And that's, that's like, that's an adventure. I really love the brightness that the piano has. It really shining. And also the bottom part of the piano, bottom end has really deep, strong sound. And especially when I play with a trio setting like this, it, you know, I can really, um, I can really play with the full size of drum set and also, you know, like a big contrabass guitar. And it's just really rich and full. And also the response of the keys, the attack are amazing. And I really, I mean, I use piano as a melodic instrument, but also as a percussive instrument. Sometimes I have to take the role of drums. And when I try to make that happen, this piano's response make me become a drummer. <laughs> and they really love that. Well, it's all together as one package. I love performing the music that I wrote. And um, I just I really do love live performance because I can really feel people's energy, really positive energy. And I always feel like going on tour is like trying to find friends who like same kinds of music. And you know, after I play, when I see all these smiles on the audience's face, I just feel that, that finally, you know, I mean, I just feel suddenly I got so many friends in the house. <laughs> and it's just such a beautiful way to connect to people.